and last is the day's this week's is the last expect and it's national football it's four more three just three runners them see a man and move Matt Cooper trying to get to the lead on his own King of Windsor Alex Cherry and lucky and won one hunt today and neither is Derek beyond desire just a three runners then so Matt leading Matt from Teddy Alex Cherry is six delegating five three for the racing and still grey two for Daniel French and Patrick Oban one Martin Kane John Morgan Joshua Summer and Billy Gerard so a long way to go in this race It's a £100,000 race. Um, I think we have to look at the handicap racking, racket uh, ratings for the end of the seasons. Because it's small fields. And it's nothing below 90, which is surprising me in the end of this chase. Uh, a few of these could have dropped down to at least 70, 80 making more competitive and give the horses a really likely to on the flat what I do I, I drop them down to 30 it used to be 50 a couple of seasons ago but you got them to try and make these low handicaps competitive and if you're not gonna lower the rating to some of these horses then you gotta look at the handicap bracket Maybe take it up to 110. If the lowest you're going to go is 90, I know you can't change it on Tom. The ratings they only go down so far as they're on the fly. So I have to put the ratings on the horse follow on horse if it's 30, 30. Uh, once it ups, load load that file then to Tom, Tom will show 30 in its files and it's for the horse in the league so it can get you know and I can't get lower than 45 if you see in the results page and the handicap and I've handicapped them and it's still off and it, it's only gone down to 45 or it's not gone above 45 it's because I can't alter anything down from 45 I can alter up also 43 because up to 46 I can alter I can't alter anything down from 47 to under 45 so until I have to, I'll accept load the cross files on a Friday also just show what it's handicap mark is in the results page jump the next ditch and then just muttering on Long way, it's only three when it's disappointing. Not the 100, you think there'll be a few more winners in this race. I know we got the Scottish National and the Irish National, you got the Whip Red Gold Cap. There's one or two other one races as well. But the Hunters Chase, three runners, it's not good enough. Not 100, it should be not 110. It might let a couple in, make it more competitive is although we are lower numbers in trainers and that might mean we have to adjust some handicap marks later on in the season when horses are falling up and we get right in 110 which I keep the, this under but later on in the season when I uh, think Martin's horses have progressed that he hasn't had to race on a day Five races and perhaps his answers are all above the rate in the hundred now and it's really his <coughs> not fair I would say later on in the last season he could have dropped one or two might be 105 or 106 into an under chase that was a not 110 bracket and we might have a discussion in the, about that Maybe putting horses that fall in the early in the season will pull up, give them a rating of 111 so they can't get into a 110 hunter's chase, but they get low in that, but they can run off on 
11. Something to do not think about. That could be easily done during the break, changing the handicap ratings. Um, there was two races that was, uh, I think the race 31 and 32 at Sandown Park. Um, you can't change the ratings online, I'll have to get leaned down look at that because they're they 0 to 90. As I'm saying, we, when I was doing that, again, we get horses down to 70. So there was horses under 90 in the league, but we don't seem to have that at the moment. <coughs> so perhaps Leon can adjust the ratings for that race to 100. Because I tried in admin the other day and I couldn't do it. It just wouldn't take. Because I knew last season it was the same problem with that great those two races at Sandow not to ninety. They need to be brought up to not one hundred. Jumping that. I'm still mapping on, I've still got a lot of the six left one and there's the last glitch you'll see. King of Windsor is leading by two. Oh, it's Cherry. Then Endium comes beyond desire. Derek Inton. Looks had a good flat season, Derek. And the third Mark Cooper, who's had a good hunter season at the moment. It's here in Manamu. Loads of winners for him. Alex, not so good this year on the jumps. Jump in the next. Ooh. He was down on his nose was beyond desire there. On a steady man's pace, old man's pace. King of Windsor, three lengths clear of Beyond Desire. On the inside, there, man and moo. Jumping that. And the best jump was probably by the leader there, King of Windsor. A low save, man and moo jump through the inside of Beyond Desire. A mile and a quarter, just over the last. In other words, what will be the last fence the next time round? Oh, they go, and all three still standing. King of Windsor, two to three, beyond desire, and see a man move on the inside. That's it. Towards the end of the pass, the straight. A little bit swinging right handed, go back out into the country for the final time. They have about a mile and a half a left to run, King of Windsor. Lens clear of Beyond Desire. Zero man move on the inside. It's been a busy day for me today. I was at Southwell this morning. In the morning over the championship finals day. And then I went to Sandown for the late last race day. For a pop up for Lodge this evening. King of Windsor. Clear or beyond desire. See a man on the inside. I've been that busy, I don't even know what who won the whip bread. I'll soon find out when I listen to Martin's tones on the country for it. Jump in that one. King of Windsor. By length and a half. Beyond desire. And see a man moon still there. Second bread. He got under five now left to run. Jumping well at the moment, and uh, although he's pushed along in front, King of Windsor, the other two are off the bridle as well. Beyond Desire, see a man in the He's coming through again on the inside, he's swinging down with three left to jump, two down the side, and one on the street and a short one in. The sun's coming through the back, and the wind tail to the back side of the back. second last King of Windsor jumping around at the moment can he keep it going can he keep this two left lead he has over Sam Man will jump this one 
and they both jump, all jumped it well apart from the back mark and beyond to say the lock's cooked now. They're swinging for him, King of Winchester still has a two length lead. Searman, who's not making any pressure on him at the moment, they head towards the final fence. He could be on the jump here. If he jumps it, he jumps it well and he's clear. And the jockey looks around, he's in command. And King of Winchester has made all to win the last suspect international. From his second place, Sir Manamu, and beyond desiring fit. So the Tantas Championship is still alive. Two trainers on ten until next week. I'll see you. Goodbye. Well done, Alex Chowey, the King of Winter.